hope you're in the mood for a good old-fashioned gigantic beauty haul because that is what we are doing today. If you're not in the mood for that, I'm a little confused as to why you clicked on this video, but you know, I'm not here to judge. Last week I had the pleasure of attending the annual London Drugs LD Beauty event in Whistler for my second year in a row and it was so much fun. So I want to give a huge thank you to the LD Beauty team for having me at their event and also all the brands that attended because they hooked it up with an insane goodie box, which is what I'm going to be showing you in today's haul. If you've been following me for at least one year, then you may remember my haul and vlog from the event last year. I'll link both of those down below. Unfortunately, as you guys know, my vlog camera is currently broken, so I wasn't able to vlog the trip this year. So instead, I posted like crazy over on my Instagram stories. My Instagram will also be linked, but I'm at Sari Rihanna on there. And I did save all of my posts from the event on a highlighted story on my profile, so make sure you go give that a watch. My entire makeup table is covered, so I cannot link all of these products down below. So instead, I'm just going to link some of the products I'm most excited about, just some select items. And if you are in Canada, you should definitely check out London Drugs. If you don't have a store near you, their website does ship Canada-wide. And I have ordered from them recently, and something I've noticed is that they tend to have like a really good monthly promo code for luxury beauty items, so definitely worth checking out, but let's just go ahead and get it into it. I'm looking at all these products laid out now like where the heck do I even start? I'm just going to grab the first products in front of me and those are both from NYX. So the first item is one of their new Away We Glow palettes and this one is called Hooked on Glow which is funny. It's just this really nice warm kind of neutral palette, but then you've got some pops of light pink, mint green, and gold. It's really pretty. So yesterday I actually filmed like a get ready with me full face first impression style video trying out a ton of the products in this haul. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It should be my next video, but I did try this palette in that video so I can confidently say that these shadows, at least the ones I've tried, are fantastic. And then there's also one of these Slip Tease lip lacquers. I also tried this in the video as well. And it is basically like a really high pigment intense gloss. It's like a movie berry shade with a mint scent. This year the event dinner was hosted by CoverGirl, so there was a little goodie bag from them as well. First item was one of their new Super Stunner Highlighting Trios. I have been loving these. I'm actually wearing the middle shade on my cheeks today, and as you can see. And I think it looks pretty beautiful if I do say so myself. These are such great highlights for the drugstore. They also have one for medium to deep skin tone, so you need to check these out if you haven't already. There's also their Pore Minimum primer this mascara this is the lash blast active mascara for 24 hour wear there was a ton of mascaras in the gift box and you guys know I'm pretty picky with mascara so if you guys have tried any of the ones I'm going to show in this video let me know what you thought in the comments because I don't want to open them up and like use them once I'd rather you know give them away or donate them and then there was a lipstick in the shade cream which I swatched here but it's very light and sheer it's like a very pale peachy nude we also got quite a bit of makeup from Burt's Bees which is really exciting because aside from Burt's Bees lip products, I don't think I've really tried any of their makeup, but there is this gorgeous blush, which I'm wearing today, layered over a cream blush though. And then a little eyeshadow trio. Their little honeycomb packaging is so cute. And then there was a couple eyeliner pencils. Actually, one of these is a brow pencil. And then a mascara, which I'm really excited to try their mascara. We've got one of their lipsticks in Brimming Berry, which I believe I already have. And then one of their little lip shimmers in the shade Rhubarb. One of their classic cucumber mint lip balms. I'm not a fan of cucumber or mint scented things, so I'm going to pass that one along. And then there was also their Brightening Skin Perfecting Serum. You guys know I love brightening serum, so I'm really intrigued to try this one because you guys are always asking for more like drugstore affordable skincare recommendations and finally from Burt's Bees we have their micellar cleansing towelettes I've tried some of the Burt's Bees face wipes in the past and I haven't loved them I feel like they're more just meant to be like cleansing wipes and not really remove makeup but I think because these they say they're three-in-one micellar so I think these will probably work better oh one thing I almost forgot to show because it is still in my suitcase queen of never unpacking but they also gave us these really adorable robes that say London Drugs Beauty on them so that's so nice this is going to be what I wear whenever I wash my face and do my makeup from now on I'm gonna use one of those Burt's Bees wipes to remove my swatches they actually did a really good job. From Marcel, we've got their Extension and Plus Mascara. I've heard great things about Marcel mascaras, but I've never tried any of them, so I'm excited for that. And then also this Long Wear Eyeshadow Pencil, and it's in a shade that looks right up my alley. It's called Pink Galaxy. Let's swatch this. 
yeah, that's totally like an everyday me kind of color. It's just like a light, shimmery, champagne-y pink. Another product we got that I've already tried is this beautiful matte lipstick from Lancome. This is from their Labsolu Rouge collection. So you open it by pressing on the top and the lipstick pops out. And I believe they have four shades that are in this special like color coordinated limited edition packaging. It's just so pretty, but it's just like the perfect deep matte fall red. You can see that it's so richly pigmented. I actually wore this on the second day of the event and I wore it the entire home like for my flight and everything. I only did one minimal touch up throughout the day and I had it on for probably like 12 or 13 hours and it still looked really good actually at the end of the day. I had smudged it a little bit but it held up so well. As you guys know from my recent haul and review, Derma E is now available in London Drugs. So they gave us their vitamin C serum, which Derma E actually recently sent me this serum because if you saw the video, you guys know it was sold out when I went to buy it from London Drugs. So now I have two and I've heard great things about this. So I need to get on trying this as soon as possible. Another product that I'm so happy we received because I'm so excited to try is the Rapid Lash Eyelash and Eyebrow Serum. And I actually got duplicates of a couple items in my box and this was one of them. So I feel like the lash and brow gods were smiling upon me. They were like, you need extra help. So we're just gonna sneak in an extra one for you. If you have tried Rapid Lash, please share your experience in the comments. From Clinique, we got their new dramatically different hydrating jelly, which I love the look of this with like the packaging and like the clear jelly lotion. One thing I feel like I need to address, I also mentioned this in the get ready with me video, but our drugstores here in Canada do have a high end section in them. Before anyone gets mad at me and is like Lancome and Clinique and these brands aren't drugstore, I know they aren't, but that's just kind of what they carry in our stores here. So I do have some more like high end skincare to show just a heads up, such as the Clarins Double Serum. I've also got some products from Elizabeth Arden here. This is the Superstar Probiotic Cleanser Whip to Clay Cleanser, which sounds very intriguing and interesting. I'm gonna have to try this. Just comes in a tube. It smells really good and it does look like a clay mask squeezing it out, so I'm really intrigued by that. Also from Elizabeth Arden, there was some of their ceramide capsules. These are the Retinol Line Erasing Night Serum version. I get a lot of questions about retinol and to be honest, I don't use a lot of retinol products. I'm a little nervous too. I don't really know why. And whenever I've gotten these capsules in the past, I give them to my mom because she loves them. But I really wanna try these for myself this time and just a bonus, they're rose gold for the retinol version. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Bioderma. They are one of my favorite drugstore skincare lines. And their new product this year, I am so intrigued by. I can't wait to try this. It's from their Autoderm Body Collection, which I have spoken about on my channel many times. I love the oil, I love the lotion, but this is the new Autoderm SOS spray. So it says it is an anti-itching, ultra-soothing spray. So you guys know I'm prone to like eczema and flare-ups of like contact dermatitis. I get like very rashy and itchy. I haven't had any issues like that in a while, knock on wood. And I have an issue where when my skin is itchy and rashy, I like can't control how much I scratch it and I'm a really rough scratcher. So I'm so excited to try this. Like I scratch in my sleep and stuff when I'm rashy, which is not a good thing. I said rashy. Rashy because I'll wake up and my skin will be like damaged from it. So I can't wait to try this. I think it would also be great for soothing bug bites and things like that in the summer. This video is going to be so long, but Bioderma also gave me one of their Sense of Bio Cleansing Foaming Gels. I mentioned this in my morning skincare routine from last spring. This is like my favorite gel cleanser because I can use it on my eyes. So really excited to have another one of those. And then also their HydroBio Serum. I think I might already have one of these and I can't remember if I've tried it to be honest. Also got a couple super cute items from Lise Watier. I think I must have unfortunately missed the Lisa Watche booth, but I'm assuming these are from the holiday collection because they're in super sparkly packaging and they always have a really cute like Christmas collections. But the first product is a lip palette. And then there was also a lipstick, which is super interesting. If you guys can see in the center, you have like the lipstick pigment and then around that it's got kind of like a balm or oil. I haven't swatched this yet. So it's just kind of like a more sheer red and then the oil has kind of like a blue shimmer to it. I think that'd be fun for the holiday season if you don't want like a super bold red and you want something really moisturizing. Next I have a ton of products from Kiss New York. They seriously hooked it up this year so huge thank you to them. And to be honest their booth at the event was one of my favorites because they were applying their lashes and applying their impress nails if you wanted to try them on. So it was really fun and interactive. So the lashes I chose to have applied at the event were their pixie style from their blow 
blowout range and then there was also a pair of those in our box so I have two of those and then also these Lash Couture Bustier lashes which are so pretty make sure you go watch my story to see what the pixie pair looks like on but you guys know I'm not a big false lash kind of gal but when I do wear false lashes, they are always kiss. Like, I have a ton of pairs of them. Because they are affordable, you know? I'm not going to go out and spend $30 on a pair of lashes that I'm only going to wear a couple times. And you still do get a ton of wears. Like, I think it's like 20 to 25 same as like a high-end brand, out of these lashes if you're taking proper care of them. I'm a big fan of those. I think they also gave me two of their lash glues, which I love as well. Now, you need to take a moment to talk about the Impress Press On Manicure. Because I have been sleeping on these so hard. I have received a ton of these in PR, like I have just like a drawer full of them essentially and I've never tried them because first of all I thought they were more complicated to apply but I had a set of them applied at the event and they just stick on like you peel off the backing pop them on and you're good to go they last for like two to three days they said depending on what you're doing so yeah I just always thought they would be more hard to apply and I thought they would like be annoying and kind of get in my way because when I've tried like stick on nails in the past they always kind of like when I'm doing anything they kind of like tug on my nail bed and they kind of hurt a little bit but these were so secure so I will definitely be pulling these out for special occasions this set is like a matte navy blue with a champagne gold accent nail and then they also gave me the extras from the set that I applied once again you have to go watch my story to see them this looks empty but all the extra ones are rattling around in there and then they also gave us a set of their gel fantasy so I believe these are a little bit more complicated to apply like these ones actually have to be glued on but these are really pretty too they're like a soft blush rosy pink and then also from kiss they gave us this 24 karat gold peel off mask they have three new peel off masks one was a charcoal and I can't remember what the third one was but I feel like they would potentially be really good dupes for high end peel off masks like I haven't personally tried the Peter Thomas Roth gold peel off mask but I feel like maybe this would be a dupe and the charcoal one might be a dupe for like the Bosha black peel off mask also from kiss there was a couple lip liners and a black eyeliner and a really nice sharpener this is like my favorite type of sharpener and then their contour kit which is another item that I used in my video yesterday so you guys will see me using that and a gorgeous fall eyeshadow palette which is like giving me subtle Anastasia subculture vibes probably just because of that teal shade in there but I really love kiss products I hadn't tried much of their products either until the event last year and their makeup is really good like really underrated I don't see a lot of people talking about kiss so if you haven't tried their products I'd highly recommend it I haven't been disappointed by anything I've tried from them I feel like I need to do fragrance next because we got a ton like seriously these brands were so generous with the fragrance. So the first fragrance is the latest from Juicy Couture and this is called Juicy Couture We. I love this bottle. It's so fun. It's got those like classic Juicy Couture elements like the gemstone lid and like the charms on it. Viva La Juicy was my favorite fragrance from ages like 13 to 16. So they have a special place in my heart but I'm obsessed with this scent. Like I instantly fell in love with it when I smelled it at the event. And this was the first thing I unpacked when I got home because I wanted to start wearing it. It smells so good. I feel like Viva La Juicy and a lot of the Juicy Couture scents are like a little bit too nostalgic for me. Like I just can't wear them anymore because they have so many memories tied to them, you know what I mean? But this is like just different enough. I looked up the notes and they're like watermelon, acai berry, pear, jasmine, tuberose, woods, amber, and musk. I think that was all of them. Oh, this just smells so good. If you have like similar taste and fragrances to me, like you've gone out and smelled some of my recommendations, I'd recommend checking this one out. Like the Black Opium Floral Shock from YSL, Tory Burch, those kind of scents. It's not like super similar to any of them, but I think if you like those, you might like this as well. I also got Clean Rain. I'm not a huge fan of this one, so I'll probably give it away. The only one I really love from Clean's original scents is Clean Skin, and I already have that one. And then from Burberry, we got My Burberry, which I'll show you the bottle for this one. Unfortunately, I don't love this scent either. I worked at Sephora when this launched, so I've smelled it quite a bit. So I think I'm going to give this one to my mom. I know she will really like it. They did actually have a Burberry scent at the event, like a brand new one. I don't even know if it's out yet. And surprisingly I really like that one so I might check that one out if it's out yet and then Calvin Klein women which has got such a cool and unique bottle and I actually really like the smell of this one as well and then there was also two men's colognes which will of course be going to James we have got the Hugo Boss man and then Aqua Digio by Giorgio Armani I think I like this one better out of the two of them but they're both really nice this has more of that like warm like vanilla -y kind of cologne scent that I tend to like okay it's really really tough to narrow down but I think this might be the thing I'm most excited excited about and that is the Silken Rivi Microderm. 
cool the lighting. I'm gonna hold up the actual device instead, but this is basically an at-home microdermabrasion tool. So it's kind of similar to like the PMD. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of that. But one thing I didn't realize is this is actually relatively affordable, especially for what it is. I checked the price before filming this video, and to be honest, I thought this was going to be like $250 or something like that but it was only around $100 on the London Drugs website. I believe the one from PMD is around like $200 Canadian, so maybe if you have been eyeing that, but it's like a little bit out of your price range, this might be worth looking into. If you don't know, this is just a tool for exfoliation. It's really great for like fine lines, acne scarring, that's why I'm excited to try it. So you turn it on and you kind of glide it along your skin and it uses suction and the little kind of diamond tip on here to exfoliate and really brighten up your skin. So let me know if you guys want a review on this eventually. Real Techniques have us up with their complexion sponge as well as a couple of their brush sets. I'm really excited for this complexion set because this has my favorite Real Techniques brush in it which is the contouring brush. This is what I use every single day. I don't use anything else to contour so I'm really excited to have a second one. I've had my first one since I was probably like 16 and it's still going strong. And then from Sally Hansen we have their complete salon manicure, a nail polish, and a top coat. This is in the shade Cherry Delightful. It's like a classic red creme polish. I pretty much only use use Sally Henson polishes when I paint my nails to be totally honest. Oh there was also a serum from Marcel. Sorry this video is like all over the place. There's too much stuff for me to actually give it any real sense of rhyme or reason but this is the Marcel Nuage Uplift Serum. I'm going to pass this along to my mom because she actually really likes Marcel skincare. I actually love their new micellar water. You guys should try that if you haven't already. Next brand I'm going to talk about is La Roche Posay. Now I really like La Roche Posay's products but I do have a slight bone to pick with them and that is that when I'm looking at their packaging I never know what the product is like this says like all this box says is tolerian sensitive prebiotic care hydrates and soothes like I don't know if that's a serum or a moisturizer it's just a little confusing and I feel like you know I'm well versed in skincare if I was just someone out shopping for skincare and I looked at their products I would have no idea what anything was to be honest they did give us a travel size of their micellar water this one I can figure out what it is and I'm really excited for that because I love travel size makeup removers. And then two of their Lipicar moisturizers, I guess. I believe it's like a milky lotion from what I can see, but once again, just like a little bit confusing. I feel like they could make it a little bit more simple. This is a little travel size of the Biotherm Blue Therapy Firming Rosy Cream. I guess L'Oreal has like a rosy cream out now that there have been a lot of commercials for and my mom was like, I want that if you get one in the mail or anything. Like, please let me have it. And so I'm assuming this is similar because Biotherm is also owned by L'Oreal, so she's gonna get that too. And I'm also going to give her these Crabtree and Evelyn products. There is a body wash, a body lotion, and then one of their little hand creams. They're in the Gardener scent, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's rosemary, sage, and cucumber. I don't really like rosemary or cucumber. I'm not really a fan of these kind of like herbal scents. But my mom, on the other hand, loves scents like these. She loves anything rosemary, so she's getting those as well. Transitioning back into some makeup, we got a mascara for from Clarins and this is their mascara super volume and I don't know if you guys can see but this packaging is so cute it's got like little doodles of mascara wands and eyes on it and I haven't actually opened this it's got like a very standard wand definitely going to try that I haven't tried any of their mascaras and then also we got one of their waterproof gel liners in 01 intense black from Revlon we got a little travel pair of tweezers which I didn't currently have so I am happy about that and then a red lipstick and then this Galaxy Dream highlighting palette which I haven't even opened because it is broken. When I got back to my hotel room after the event I dumped all the products out of my bed so I could start packing them and this got powder all over the bed sheet so I'm sorry to the staff at the Fairmont. But yeah I haven't opened it because I can hear that it's like shattered and I'm afraid to to be honest. Oh and then there was also this Volumazing mascara from Revlon. Then we have got some fun products from Annabelle. The product I'm most excited about is this little chrome shadow pot so this is like a pale rose gold obviously I was drawn to it for that reason but it's like this really interesting like cream gel formula and like that's so pretty look at this I should have used that on my eyes today so pretty I can't wait to try that and then two products from their edge collection another mascara and then a lipstick which I also tried this on in the video I did yesterday but it is in the shade Bridget and it's like this cool like diamond shape it's like a pale pink nude from all May, I have this really interesting goddess gloss when I dumped out all the products I was like what brand is this from because when I think all May, I definitely think very like soft natural makeup but this is like this really intense like purpley fuchsia glittery lip gloss so that's really fun. We also got a set of the magnetic lashes from Ardell which I was so excited to try. 
as you guys may be able to see, I kind of massacred them a little bit. Tried these in the video yesterday, they didn't end up working for me. Not for the reason you would think though. So, you guys will have to wait and watch that video to see what I thought of these. Got some brushes from EcoTools, which, can you guys believe I've never tried any of EcoTools makeup brushes? I feel like they're like the gateway drug of makeup brush brands. We've got their Precision Precision Blush Brush, that's a tongue twister, and then their Enhancing Eye Set, which has two double-ended brushes. Rimmel gave us this adorable little rose gold makeup bag. That is going in my purse for sure. It's like the perfect little size, and it's so cute. And then they also gave us one of their new Stay Satin Liquid Lip Colors. I have the entire collection of Stay Mattes from them, and I do like them. The darker shades can get a little bit streaky, but in general, I'm just so over matte liquid lipsticks. Like, I was never super into them to be honest but I just love like a good tinted lip balm something I can just throw on so I'm excited to try these because I think they'll be more up my alley and then we got their Wonder Lash Mascara with Argan Oil I think my mom actually really likes the original version of this I keep mentioning my mom like a million times in this video and then their Magnifies Crimson Edition palette which is really pretty it's got like a lot of cranberries and reds in there and then their brow this way eyebrow definer this looks like a dupe for like the Anastasia brow definer or any of those kind of more chisel shaped brow pencils and it's got a spoolie on the other end then there was this L'Oreal unlimited mascara which I can't really remember what the deal was okay so it's pretty standard but then basically you can just ow I pinched my finger just bend the wand so you can get kind of like a more controlled application the wand on this actually looks really nice it's like a cone shape and it's got like a spiky plastic bristle wand oh and you can do it when it's closed too it's really interesting I like L'Oreal mascaras so I will give this one a try for sure I also accidentally received duplicates of another product and coincidentally it was another one of the things I'm most excited to try and this is the Saint Tropez self tan purity bronzing water face mist so Yes, I did get two of these. This is a clear self-tanning spray for the face. You guys know I don't self-tan my face because my skin is very sensitive. Although recently I've been really tempted to try Loving Tan on my face, but now I'm just going to use this instead. So you just spritz it on in your skincare routine, I'm guessing. And this is seriously like the most fine mist ever, which I think is very good since it's going to self-tan you. It smells really good too. It smells very like Hawaiian and tropical, like hibiscus coconut or something. So I'm really excited to try that too. And I will keep you guys posted. I gathered the last handful of items so we can power through this and wrap up this video. But the next item was the Physician's Formula Organic Rose Oil Lip Polish. I tore apart the packaging of this yesterday because I did use it in my Get Ready With Me video. So then we got some skincare from Neostrata. It was really cool this year because after the breakfast on this the second day of the event we had a little workshop with Neostrata so we got to learn a lot more about the brand they're really a brand that I didn't know that much about first of all they did recently go through a major rebranding all of their packaging and everything is totally different now which I think is a great improvement they are a high-end brand their products are quite pricey and I feel like their new packaging actually makes them look like a high-end brand and just kind of reflects that a little bit better so this is like a little travel starter kit of their comprehensive anti-aging system so there is a foam cleanser an eye cream a product called cellular restoration so I believe that's like a serum and then a day cream with SPF 30 and then this I'm really excited for we were allowed to choose between four different peels that they have and this is the resurface skin texture and clarity smooth surface glycolic peel so in this you get basically a little container a jar of pads and then a separate bottle of solution you pour the solution in the first time you use them and then you can use them as a daily peel you guys know I love my glycolic acid I love my daily chemical exfoliation so I'm really excited to try that and then they also gave us their restore lotion to apply after so I can't wait to try those something really cool that I learned about Neostrata at the workshop was that they actually do 30 week trials with their skincare products to see how they really work long term on the skin which they said no other brand is doing and they also don't like retouch or Photoshop or enhance their before and after photos in any way And finally last but not least we've got the Vichy Aqualia Thermal Hydrating Cream I believe I already have this so this will be a giveaway item I did get duplicates of some items that I already own so I will be putting quite a few of the things from this haul in a giveaway My next giveaway is on Instagram. I've had it planned for a while, but I just need to get myself together and actually post it. So make sure you're following me on Instagram at Sarah Rihanna. And then the final item is the Strivectin Advanced Retinol Retinol Night Oil. I'm a little bit nervous about this once again, but I saw some of the other girls at the event raving about this. So 
I will need to try it eventually. I have so much skincare I need to work through. You guys know I'm currently working on my I only used blank skincare brand for two months series. I'm in the middle of one of those, actually almost done a brand, and then I have the next one ready to go. But that was everything in this haul. This video is going to take me so long to edit. My hair is just a mess now, but if you have made it this far into this video, thank you so, so much for watching. And once again, I want to give a massive thank you to London Drugs and the LD Beauty team for inviting me to this event. Like I said, it was so much fun. It's like a crazy two days, and I've been so tired after both times, but it is so worth it. Especially this year, it was so much fun because I got to see and hang out with the girls I hung out with last year. I'll link their Instagrams down below if you guys want some other amazing Canadian girls to follow and support. I need to just finish this video, so give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go follow me on social media. I'm at Sarah Rianne on Twitter and Instagram, and hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel, but I'll talk to you in the next one.